In the end times, only an artist who raps about foul sexual things in reference to being a proud, boastful, sexualized, promiscuous woman, giving what appears to be an okay, normalized impression to every young and older female, can become a victim because another woman falsely slandered her, saying she has herpes due to, I don't know, the proud, boastful, sexualized, promiscuous woman image, which essentially is the artist's gimmick, livelihood, and money bank. And now, there is so much support towards a woman who is teaching young women in the ways of Jezebel because someone made an obvious assumption true or not based off again the artist's gimmick and livelihood and money bank which is the proud boastful sexualized promiscuous woman image so it's okay to be a whore act like a whore portray yourself as a whore teach whoredom to other impressionable girls or females but how dare you slander me against an obvious related consequence of me per perpetrating or portraying myself as a whore that no one should deduce on their own anyway, even if I rap about my promiscuous ways. The ways of sin and how it is good and normal and defended tells you what time it is. I don't condone slander towards anybody, but the fact that all these self-righteous people want to now take up for an evil artist who is not the finest example, who leads females into also the ways of Jezebel, something God never intends for a woman to act like or behave like, is pretty disgusting to me. And I'm not surprised due to what people put out there that someone made a claim towards that image. And it's not right in the way of falsely slandering anyone, whether it be true or even not. But it's not and never was right and okay also for a grown woman to be acting and teaching young girls how to be Jezebels. But now look how the Jezebel is being defended. Look at the Jezebel, now the victim and the innocent one. Welcome to the end of the world.